On September 11th, 2022, the solo laner for the Jade Dragons offered the entire Smite community a challenge. Win one ranked game in each role on stream as fast as you can. The timer starts when your first game starts and ends when the Titan dies in the last game. In the rule set, you are not allowed to play on a smurf account unless said smurf account is around a similar MMR to your main account. First place gets $500, second place gets $350, and third place gets $150. If you do okay with someone, they also have to do the challenge, and the money gets split evenly. The first place winner, Entei Smite, blatantly lied about how much MMR his smurf had, and therefore competed in the challenge while breaking the rules. Here's what happened. Just as a quick disclaimer, I got fourth place in this challenge, and I'm making this video for entertainment purposes only. I do not give a fuck about the money. If Fine OK disqualifies him, that would put me in third place, and therefore I would win $75 as I was duo queued with a friend. I do not care for this money, and this video is solely for entertainment purposes. And finally, do not go and harass the person I discuss in this video. People make mistakes, and harassment or personal attacks are just never okay. Yes, he's a dickhead for cheating, but again, harassment is just never okay. Fine OK announced the winners of this challenge on September 19th, where the first place winner was a guy named Entei Smite. As with most entrants, he publicly tweeted his submission. There are a few things to note about this submission. Entei Smite had an insane time of 1 hour, 46 minutes, and 33 seconds. This time is absolutely insane, and that means his average time per game would be around 21 minutes. This initially set off some red flags, but I really didn't want to call someone out based on a suspiciously fast time. He played on a smurf account, but claimed it was similar MMR to his main account, which he posted proof of both. Both accounts were around 2300 MMR and Diamond. This is important and we'll come back to this later. 3. His profile is hidden. And having a hidden profile makes it to where you can't look up his profile anywhere on the internet to validate his real current rank in MMR, so this was also very suspicious. 4. He posted his submission a day after he played his matches. Again, this is important and we'll come back to it later. 5. He cropped his screenshots super weird. I'm not sure if this is necessarily evidence of foul play, but it was just weird. I stream pretty much every day, and after my live stream on the same day that the winners were posted, a good friend of mine, Mutaba, contacted me with some pretty damning evidence of foul play. First of all, Entei made his Twitter account around the same time Fine OK posted the challenge and only had two followers. I could be wrong, but I didn't see this challenge advertised anywhere outside of Twitter. So how did he even know about it? He could have heard about it from a friend, and again, this isn't really enough evidence to accuse somebody. But then we kept digging, and noticed something in his Twitch VODs. This VOD is now deleted, but Mutaba and I were actually looking at it literal minutes before it was deleted, and we found something else very suspicious. After every ranked match of Smite, you are taken to a screen where it'll display your rank, how much MMR you gained or lost after the match, and also your total MMR. Entei conveniently blacked out his stream before his screen was displayed to his viewers, therefore not allowing people to validate his MMR during his run. This is where I started getting open to actually accusing someone of cheating, because everything was just really suspicious. Entei, if you are watching this, you were so close to getting away with it. But you made one very crucial error. You left your match IDs in your submission, and therefore allowing people to search up each match on Smite Guru. Even though his profile was hidden, Smite Guru uses data from the actual Smite API and can still list ranks and MMR of players in a match even if their profile is hidden. So you can look up the match, and again, even though his profile was hidden, Smite Guru can say, hey, there's an Uller in this match, we don't know who he is, but here is his rank and his MMR. If you did this, you would notice that in each game, the average MMR is around 1500 in gold, which doesn't match up with what he claimed in his submission. Remember the rules? No smurfing unless the second account has the same MMR. This is the definitive proof that he cheated. He claimed his smurf account was in diamond, when in actuality, it was in gold. I then decided to DM Fine OK about the evidence and proof, and I made a tweet about it. Hey, Entei Smite. Firstly, congrats on winning Fine OK's Ranked Speedrun Challenge. Question. How come in your submission tweet you said that the account you played on is 2300 MMR in Diamond 3, but when I looked up the match ID of the final game in your submission, you're in Gold 2? Also, why did you delete your VOD? Also, 
How come before you deleted your VOD, you would black out your screen before Smite switched to the end of match lobby screens? Also, why is your profile hidden? This was super petty of me, but I really don't give a fuck. Fine OK then quote tweeted it about 30 minutes later. After checking with my high res insider, it turns out that this person was in fact smurfing and therefore cheating. Douchebag. He then bumped everybody that was in the top 5 up a rank, putting me and my duo queue partner in 3rd place. A couple things to note here. Ya boy, Viakai Smite won some money. This bumped me up to 3rd place and Fine OK paid me the $75. Again, I didn't really care about the money and cared more about the integrity of the challenge, but it's still nice. Secondly, Fine OK actually did end up paying Entei, but he had it set up to where it can be refunded. He confirmed in DMs that the money was in fact refunded, and I just think this is so hilarious. Because this leads me to believe that he deleted his Twitch VOD after Fine OK paid him, thinking he was in the clear. I also asked Fine OK if I could share our DMs for this video, and he agreed. Fine OK also confirmed in DMs that he figured out that the guy had many smurfs. With all that being said, this is my theory on how he did it. My theory is that Entei was participating in the challenge on multiple smurf accounts to get an easier games, therefore having better odds at getting a faster time. He may have had attempts on multiple different accounts, as if he keeps winning on one account, he'll eventually reach higher skilled lobbies, making it harder for him to win. While he was streaming attempts, he blacked out his screen after every game to not show the end of match lobby and hide the MMR he was playing in. Eventually, he got a time he was happy with and took a screenshot of his match history. He then continued playing on the same account that he got this run with to reach a similar MMR to his main account. Once he did this, he took a screenshot of his new MMR to prove that his MMR was similar to his main accounts. I genuinely believe that if he simply cropped out the match IDs of his submission, he would have gotten away with it. But thankfully, Mutaba was smart enough to track him down from those match IDs. On top of this, since his profile was hidden and he deleted his Twitch VOD, there would have been no way to look up the matches he was in without the actual match ID. As I said in the beginning, he cropped his screenshots really weird, so I'm not really sure why he did that, but it's kind of ironic that he cropped his screenshots weird but didn't crop out the match IDs. Before ending the video, I want to say a few things. Regardless if he cheated, it's still a pretty damn impressive time. Five ranked wins in a row in an hour and 46 minutes is still a good time even if you were smurfing. I also do not fault Fine OK too much for not catching it, as he was probably getting hundreds of submissions, and it's very likely to believe one just slipped through the cracks. Finally, I want to re-emphasize what I said in the beginning of the video. Harassment is never okay. I view this as a mistake, and I'm just hoping he learns from this mistake and betters himself. Regardless of how morally good or bad he might actually be, harassment is still never okay. Period. I'd also like to thank Fine OK for even putting on this challenge, it was extremely fun to do, and I absolutely love how inclusive it was. People from all ranks, all types of consoles or inputs or whatever were participating, and it was just really nice to see. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go spend my 75 hard-earned dollars on some sushi and cocaine. I'll see you guys in the next video.